The UK is bracing for a weekend of more storms as major flooding continues to hit much of England and Wales. Forecasters say rain, wind and snow is striking the country in what is called a multi-pronged attack. The British government says it is fighting on every front to help people affected. Our UK correspondent Dan Whitehead has the latest. This is the result of the worst rainfall in over 250 years. Riverbanks burst long ago, but with more bad weather, water levels continue to rise. Residents in counties across England and Wales are counting the costs of these floods and bracing themselves for more. In Gloucester, in the west of England, locals say they've never seen water levels like it. I've never seen it so high, so I, I do think something's about to go. Because I just think I don't know how it can't, if you know what I mean. It's got to that point, and, and with the forecast of more rain and, and obviously the flooding everywhere else, I think it's all got to go somewhere, hasn't it? Flood warnings remain in place, with the Environment Agency saying many could cause a danger to life. The relief effort is huge, with more than 2,000 members of the Army, Navy and RAF drafted in to help, while 70% of fire and rescue services are being used in the effort, the largest deployment since the Second World War. Well, it's going to get worse before it gets better because we've got another weather front coming in and that will rise uh, the river levels in parts of the country. But we are doing everything we can. We are fighting on every front. Forecasters say jet streams are continuing to bring wave after wave of storms. No one is certain whether climate change is to blame. But Matthew Spencer, director of environmental think tank Green Alliance, says the government must do more to tackle global warming. There's some really, really... Uh, horrible things happening to people's homes, massive transport disruption. The thing to do is to focus on helping those in the short term. But once we've got through the worst of this, we have to uh, re-examine how we're going to make our system more resilient to extreme weather. That means investing much more money in flood defences as well as continuing the path we're on to lower our dependency on fossil fuel. Experts cannot say for certain whether the increasing frequency of bad weather in the UK is man-made or not. Climate change or not, the focus in the coming hours and days remains on the relief effort. The Prime Minister David Cameron says he'll do whatever it takes to help those affected by the floods. And with no let-up in the severe weather, communities across the UK will need all the help they can get. Dan Whitehead, CCTV, Downing Street.